So this power station weighs in at about 23 pounds or about 10 and a half kilograms for our friends on the metric system. Uh, so it's quite manageable as a portable power station. The lithium iron phosphate battery is rated to maintain about 80% of its original capacity after 3,500 full charge and discharge cycles, which effectively gives it a useful service life of about 10 years or more. The AC inverter, as I mentioned, is rated for uh, 600 watts continuous and up to a 1200 watt surge or peak. And as you can see, all the input and output ports are kind of uh, covered with these little rubberized covers, which are just a little bit fiddly at times, I have to say, but when you get them seated properly, they do provide a good job of uh, keeping debris and moisture out. So it does have an IPX3 weather resistance rating, so it can withstand a little splash here and there, but you wouldn't want to leave this thing out in a downpour. And you can charge this thing via the included AC adapter, which outputs 108 watts. And that allows you to charge the C600 from zero to 100% in just about six hours. So you can also charge this on DC power via the included 12 volt car adapter or via solar at up to 100 watts. Now that's in addition to the built-in solar panel, but we'll see how all that works in a minute. So the solar input range is always important to know. It's 12 volts to 30 volts at about four and a half amps. So most 18 volt, 100 watt solar panels should work just fine with this unit. Uh, but as with anything, you wanna kind of double check the manual on those solar panels to make sure that the ISC rating or the short circuit current rating uh, doesn't significantly exceed that four and a half amps. Um, anything up to about six amps should be completely fine, but anything much higher than that, and you could end up uh, tripping the um, uh, protection on the C600, in which case you'd get no solar output from that particular panel. So just be aware of that. As far as the ports on the output side, there are two DC5525 ports, not 21 ports, and they output 12 volts at 10 amps max. There's two 18 watt USB-A ports and one PD65 watt USB-C port. And then finally you have the standard 12 volt 10 amp car socket and then just one single AC outlet. 